What is going on? Welcome back to Fanatic Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about Lucid. I want to go over some of the current data points, break it down on what's been coming out associated to the company itself and go over everything else that you need to know. But first, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So right now, Lucid is down 0.35%. Extremely volatile day though. So it did have a nice spike first thing to 295 and so far has had a low of $2.80. But it is luckily enough bouncing off of a very strong support. So I'll talk about that in a second. But we're about to head into power hour roughly, but 14.72 million shares have been traded so far. 24.4 is the average. These are some of the transactions that have occurred so far today above $100,000. So majority of the volume being done today is just linked to algorithmic trading, not necessarily investors getting in on the long. Uh, the one institution that did buy though, as you can kind of see right here, was kind of helping it go to that 295. So I think that's kind of a good thing, but there was no news, no SEC filings, nothing along those lines. So it has been rather quiet from Lucid. So it's just merely piggybacking off of the broader market. Unofficially though, and this is one thing that's really bothered me about Lucid, is their lack of PR. Because of course, moving to the UAE is a big deal. They made a very big point of talking about it multiple different times over the last several earnings. So when there's a current promotion out there, you would figure that they'd put out some PR or do something along those lines, but nothing. There was this that is available under their website. Um, so it's kind of dedicated UAE offers for leasing. And it looks like you get scheduled maintenance, uh, two years complimentary, kind of a intro. Like it's very good deals in reality, it's more associated to the peer. But whether Lucid puts out official PR about this, I don't know. It kind of does suck. But then again, that's kind of Lucid. So it's that's the difficulty of investing in a startup company is just the fact that you get these I don't know, over sites, because this is something that you really should be prioritizing because the UAE studio is a big deal. I don't know, maybe they're just waiting for it to officially open. It should be open fairly soon. I think that was uh, cited by Sultan on Twitter. He did say it was gonna be open fairly soon. So we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they are waiting until spring 2024, which I think we're kind of in right now, but maybe they're just waiting for it to officially open before they start doing PRs um, attributed to promote and sales and whatever else so something I think is kind of a good thing bad thing a little bit more of a combination of both but regardless expansion is always a very good thing for lucid when it comes down to shorts though they are returning about 900,000 shares 30.64 percent of the free flow is being shorted 271.4 million shares overall are being shorted and then cost of our average is 40.59 percent shorts actually did help to cause it to go to around that 295 so you had that one institution buying as well as looking at the intraday right here based on the 1530 GMT. So that's ultimately when the market did open. It looks like they returned a good about 4.5 million shares. So you had the institution buying, which is right here alongside shorts returning. So that's what caused it to get to the, that 295. But still beside the point, it's good to see maybe shorts returning some shares right now there's only 3 million shares available to be shorted which is kind of a drop in the bucket considering like i said 271.4 million shares overall are being shorted so kind of interesting stuff i wish there would be more stuff to talk on more specifically gravity or whether the name is free and clear at this stage in the game we just are kind of left in the dark but still when it comes down to options dollar value wise has dropped dramatically so 412 in calls 103,000 in puts so like i said comparing it to two weeks ago dollar value wise very much down 52 percent of all the options being done today though are optimistic and bullish which like i said in my dedicated lucid video yesterday it kind of shows that it wants to break out and it keeps bouncing off of a very strong support so kind of a telltale sign that it is going to go higher. So again, something to kind of consider. But of the call options that are being purchased, there's a consensus for it to be above $3. Even looking at the open interest, there's currently 22,000 in open interest at the three, then 17 at the 350. So if Lucid is able to close above $3 by this upcoming Friday, this is where you could get into gamma squeeze territory. And with Lucid being extremely shorted, that gamma squeeze could relate to and roll over into a 
short squeeze potentially of course uh, and once again it'd probably help as well if lucid actually does put out some substantial pieces of news these are some of the transactions that have occurred on the dark pool above one hundred thousand dollars today so you have roughly about five that is often enough linked to shorting but on the actual chart itself so with it at two dollars and 84 cents it is trading between this r1 and this r2 so in comparison to a lot of other growth stocks Lucid actually is doing rather well. So it's holding its gains, uh, again, comparing it to a lot of growth stocks. $2.82 is a very strong support, so that's what it bounced off of today. And then vice versa, $2.97 is going to be that next strong resistance. And conveniently, it bounced off of that general area as well. So today is kind of just bouncing off of both extremes. So just take note of some of the strong support and resistance points going forward into the next couple of days. But when it comes down to tomorrow, NVIDIA does have their earnings coming out after hours and I feel like based on just what's happening in the broader market the market's kind of just holding its breath you know, across the board you see lower volume so people are just waiting for Nvidia earnings just to give the rubber stamp that yes a-okay we are ready to trend higher or vice versa if they show some signs of weakness don't give good future guidance then yeah you are going to see a pretty deep pullback my own opinion of course uh, obviously the market seems to be somewhat like a casino some days so we'll just have to wait and see moving on though looking at on the actual chart itself so it is kind of just wedge bound between that 50 and 100 day moving average we're actually more so that central boiling band and that 100 day moving average right now you do see on stochastic it is around 40 so it is getting somewhat lower potentially even enough if it does continue as the same or on the status quo right now then it will be considered oversold and so once again if lucid does put out a good piece of news you could have more of a valley rally um, attributed to that but you do see a bearish deviation so red line above the white so not necessarily the best right there a number of retail investors have been getting out so what have you been doing with lucid have you been buying have you been selling are you part of these individuals i've been selling ever since it looks like the four with that massive massive spike I actually haven't sold anything I haven't bought anything more I've just been holding my position been doing options of course but buying physical shares there I need a defined trend so it kind of shows some signs of breaking out but again you need that nice gentle push by institutions and institutions right now are just waiting for Nvidia so that might be even though it's not in the direct same sector that might be the next big catalyst for Lucid. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. One final thing, make sure you guys take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7. So a pretty kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.